What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? How y'all feeling today? I want to just get a couple of words off my chest before I get super started. Black Love Excuses is the title of this one right here. I could have called it Black Love and Excuses, but this one is just called Black Love Excuses. Please share this with about five feet people if you just got here. And um, I'm OE Sun, Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm sharing it with about five people myself. And I'm on my black love right now. And I ain't getting off of it. Venus conjunct Jupiter, 28 degrees on the night of power. I think, to me, that's my formula for wealth. And I'm going to talk about it. Peace to, uh, big shots out to Lizzie, Jeff, self-esteem, Dr. Love, uh, Skibo. Pooh Bear, check the charts, Mother Nenti, Makina, oh man, Entheogenic Mama, what it do, what it do, what it do, what up, op? um, just big shouts out, Chef Mickey, Oakland Hyphae in the building, Raven in the building, Rochelle in the building, what it do, ATL Mobile Massage in the building, Divine is in the building, Mino is in the building, what up, Patty? The Entheogenic Yogi is in the building. Light Burley is in the building. What up, Sauce? Genevieve is in the building. Chris McLean is in the building. My Spiritology is in the building. What's up, what's up, what's up? Let's get into it. Our Ferity is in the building. Press 5 if you invited 5 people. And I want to talk about Black Love Excuses today. Let's open up in prayer first. Let's get a nice big inhale through the nose. Slow exhale out the mouth. Do a cool tie for the tie. Why by zone? I'm a fair going. Shalel Cologne. Ah, we are in the love of all, and all love is in us. We are a part of all, and all is a part of us, and we are one with all, and all is one with us. We can succeed as a part of all and fail as individuals, and we can be all that we wish in all as long as our wish is to stay in all. We are never alone. All is, we are, all can, we can, all does, we do. It's the J. Somebody earlier asked me, um, somebody earlier asked me about, oh, uh, press five if you invited five people, and also drop your city and state and your team Zodiac. I'm OE Sun, Team Taurus, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm your favorite astrologer's favorite astrologer, and uh, this is how we get down. What up, God body? Yes, just a little, because I'm working on the love. The Sapphire Blues doing a little something. And um, the. Mm, 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 mm. There's a thin line between truth and excuses. There's a thin line between what is the truth and what is an excuse. And it's really a thin line when you are using as an using an excuse as a as a truth. Does anybody understand what I'm saying? On a scale of 1 to 10, just put that in there with, if you understand. Have you ever used an excuse as your truth? And they, but So now you got this truth out here of why you can't do something, but it really was an excuse. Has that ever been you? Austin, Texas right now. What up, Dino? Uh, mm, I see some 10s out here. So... Yesterday when I, I did a video about black love, um, someone hit me and was like, so what about just love? Just love can't save the black family. Only black love can save the black family. Black girl magic cannot save the black family. Because black love is loving yourself and loving someone else. And showing it unapologetically through your uh, thoughts, words, and deeds, that's what black love is, right? You can't, it, so that's why I say black girl magic by itself. Um, a lot of people, and that's one of the true, one of the excuses that people turn into a truth when they say, oh, well, you know, I got to take care of myself first. And I am a super, super, super proponent of that, of you cannot pour from an empty cup. 
You cannot pour from an empty cup. You absolutely have self have to have self love, but self love or black girl magic or black boy magic does not lead to black love and saving the black family. The black family is under attack. It's an epidemic. Um, black family is the pow most powerful thing on the planet if it ever works together. So we must learn to work together. Can I get somebody to type that in there? Black love is working together, not just in community. That's another excuse that people have used to make sure that black love don't happen. We need to come together as a community. We have to spend more money with each other. We have to do this. We have to do that. All oh, those are excuses. We can't have we, we can't have no more black love. I should call this one no more black love excuses. Because you can't have a collective or a community if some men and women aren't expressing black love so you can walk down the street and see it. You're going to have to see some black love. You're going to have to see some results of black love. And that's the part I wanted to get people to focus on today and concentrate is the end game. If you must start with self-love, cool. But it's self-love for the end game. The end game is loving someone else unconditionally. That's what black love is. When black children can see black men and black women loving one another unconditionally, then the black family will be safe, secure, and wealthy. So what are the results of your practice? Like if you're practicing something right now, you're practicing some form of self-care, whether it's Tantra or deep breathing or fire breathing or fire walking or lots of water or doing all these rituals. What's the result? Where do you want to end up? Where do you want your ritual to end up? Do you want your ritual to end up in fully activated black love? What are what are some of the results of black love? We don't need to talk about the excuses. I want to point out some of the results of black love. More money, more fun, less work, better sex, better rituals, more travel, happiness in your heart, peace in your lifestyle. Are you at the fork in the road of life where you know you require specific strategies that will uncover what's next? You've done some spiritual work but still can't quite figure out how to apply those principles practically in your life. Ready to emerge from the shadows of inconsistency, confusion, and stagnation, and maybe head into the doors of clarity, prosperity, and everlasting peace. Well, listen to the vibrational frequencies of my voice and feel its healing powers. I am Mayat Ajay Ib, and honey, I've been where you are. At Internal Growth and Wellness, we create a personalized path for healing, restoration, and individualized evolution. So head on over to www.intgw.com and let's get started on your personalized plan today. On a scale of 1 to 10, where's your peace level at right now? Be honest now, especially in your relationships. And don't say, oh, I got peace because I'm single. I got peace because I'm single. Then if, 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 because if you have a command of peace, then you can have peace wherever you go. Being single is not a formula for remaining. Being peace, being single is not an excuse for how I keep my peace. Oh. More excuses. Me, my peace is probably copper vibrations in the building. What up, King? My 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 peace, my peace is probably about an eight and a half, nine right now. It's really high. It's really high. And it's because I'm practicing black love. I'm practicing love, black love with the women that love me unconditionally and let me love them unconditionally. Yes. So that's the result. I've achieved it. That's the part I had to realize. Like I'm sitting on wealth right now because I'm loving black women. Black women are loving me unconditionally. Now, not all black women love me unconditionally. I want to be clear. They do not. And that is okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What up, Jalali? Um, so let's not make any more excuses that we want to turn into truths that... Um, 
block us from expressing and experiencing and having black love? Do you want black love? What are the, what are those three main components of black love? Radical honesty, accountability, and happiness. And um, what was the other one I said yesterday? Not I know accountability was second. Happiness was third. But the first one was you got to be honest, yo. You got to be like really directed. Self-love, not, not self-love, but black love is one of the most radical things you can ever do in life. It's the most radical thing you could ever do in life is to love somebody else than just full blackness. Yesterday it was like, so what about, well, nobody asked me. Uh, nobody said, well, what about uh, white people? Well, white people operate around black love. The higher black love is, the better it is for the world. The lower black love is, is just worse for everybody else. All nationalities follow behind our tempo. You heard of Shanti? She 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 agrees, right? So uh you have to be vulnerable. No, no. You have to be honest. That's what it is. Black love is not vulnerable. Black love is honest. I'm glad you said that. So I could give you a small correction. No one needs to be vulnerable in a loving situation. Vulnerable is a martial arts term. You shouldn't be using it unless you're in a combative situation. So if I'm expressing love with my girlfriend, my queen, my wife, my nephew, I should never feel that I'm vulnerable. Because if I feel like I'm vulnerable, that means I'm open to an attack. Did you watch Game of Thrones? The North Wall was vulnerable. That's why they had people there all the time. The whole show was around fear of something. Of we knew we know we are vulnerable, right? No, in a relationship, when I'm standing there talking to a young lady, I'm not vulnerable, and she isn't either because she's not at any risk of violence or being attacked or being harmed. We're using the wrong words in black love. You must use the word honesty, radical honesty, honesty, accountability, and happiness are the formulas for black love. That's it. There's, you know, there's some other stuff, but are you radically honest? Can you say what's on your mind to your partner? Can you say what's on your mind to yourself? Are you honest with yourself? That's number one. You can't have black love if you don't have radically honest. Radical honesty. Won't work. Yes. Stop using the word vulnerable. Women, black women, stop giving the men, stop asking men to be vulnerable. You don't know what the word means. Men don't want to be vulnerable, nor do they need to be. Men need to be honest. How many of you ladies ask your man to be honest lately? Could you do that? You know how we talk to people? A lot of people say, can I be honest? I want you to ask me, can can I be honest? Which means, when, when somebody says, can I be honest? You know, I get side eyes. That's a, that's a black love excuse. Why would you want to ask me? Um, why would you want to ask me if you can be honest? Salam alaikum, Shaggy. You can't ask me, can you be honest before you tell me something? Now I'm thinking that you ain't been honest or you feel that you can't be honest with me. It don't make no sense. Yeah, men don't want to be vulnerable, nor do they need to be. It's ridiculous. I would if I had one. So what's stopping you from having a man? I want to talk about that. What's stopping you from having a man that you can then evaluate yourself and say, how, how honest are you? Or what's stopping you from having a woman? It's an excuse. What do you need to get you a man? What do you need to get some black love in your life? You need radical honesty. You need accountability. And you need happiness. You mix that with peace. Yeah. We should be open, not vulnerable. We should be honest. We should be honest. We, we, everybody's scared of this word, honest. I ain't going to use, op I open a door, okay? Open to what? I don't want to use the word open no more right now. Black love don't need to be open. Y'all already came and tried open relationships and you messed that up. Everybody, everybody messed up open relationships in an attempt to have black love. Black love is not 
monogamy or polygamy. Black love is black love. It is being honest. It is being accountable. It is being happy. No, honest must be first. O don't come before H. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do we open minded? Sure. But we really, you don't really need to be open minded in um to have black love. Oh, you just need to be honest. We're not open to being honest. We are closed down to 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 stressing the importance the importance of honesty. We don't want to stress it. We want to say, oh, I want my freedom. Give me my freedom. Black love is not freedom. That's another excuse of black love. <laughs> I need my freedom. I don't want to be tied down. What if they take my money? What about my security? I want my children to be secure. I want to see my children. That's not black love. It's not black love. If you got that honesty, then you're going to be popping. All right? That's it. I just, oh, my yet is in the building. Oh, the fit alchemist is in the building. Peace to the Queens. See Charlotte and Alabama in the house. That's all I got for y'all today, man. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, very happy. Hopefully this message reaches you and your ancestors in the highest of lights and with full abundance and full prosperity. I'm going to check on off. Please um, post what was the big thing you got from this message right here today around black love and excuses. Don't let your excuse be your truth, okay? Most excuses come from past relationships, past experiences. All, ex all ex past experiences are relationships. So let's get, out of our, let's get out of our own way and get some more black love popping. Absolutely. Let's take a big inhale. I found you in peace. I'm going to leave you in prayer. Big inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Anna Bakoa, Gijalaki Minka, Tatia Tezara, Kabel Renata, Amcha Sagvanu, Tahara Nunara, Nagi Bord, Oshe Yikadeka, Kabu Vashamran, Barkam Taram Rakame, Tazika Taker, Tamid Gamlin, Kasim Kadosh, Baruf Tufka, Nahel Lada Taker, Yakit Gehel, Amcha Panez, Okre Katushka Taker, Shavatanu Kabel, Ushma, Tazaka Tanu, Yadea Talamo, Baruk Shem, Kavomakuto, Lalam Vahed. Mmm. The dynamics, man. The dynamics. Sandra Walker is in the building. All right, look. I love y'all. I'm a holla. Peace.